Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Carolyn. So today I have another reading for you guys. And today's reading is how you can change your life so that you have more fun, that you bring in more positivity. And I have six different piles for you guys to choose from. And what I did is I grouped charms with crystals. So we have the witch's hat with golden appetite, the key with tree agite, the mermaid with blue obsidian, the palm tree with green calcite, the music note with moon aura quartz, and the owl on the moon with amethyst. So take a moment and pause the video if you need to meditate. I want to say this is a general reading, meaning it's for lots of people, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm going to have the timestamps in the description box along with links to all my other social media. And so if you like these type of readings, please hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I post them four times a week. And with that being said, I'm going to jump right along into the readings. Okay, so those of you who chose the Witch's Hat and Golden Appetite, for your cards you have Ten of Cups, the Lovers Reversed, Strength Reversed, Three of Wands Reversed, Ten of Voices, Forgive and Forget, Mere Cat, Get Support from a Trusted Group of Like-Minded Friends, and Humpback Whale. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. So I'm getting a couple different messages. The first one I want to say, with this Ten of Voices, to me it always reminds me of sound waves. And so it's like she's being lifted up by the sound wave. And then with the Humpback Whale card that talks about music, I'm getting the sense that for a couple of you guys, maybe when you were younger, when you were kids and growing up, you wanted to do something that was related to music. And you had fun when you would either play an instrument or you would sing or even dancing or something in that industry. And I feel like some of you guys have been debating if you want to go back and you want to pursue it and you want to change your career but you're afraid of taking the risk. And I feel like a lot of that comes from a family member who wasn't supportive. Some of you, this was your spouse or your partner. And I'm also getting the sense that there was someone in your life who just made you feel like you were never good enough. And so it really like tore away at your self-esteem. And so I feel like you put distance between you and this hobby of yours. But I feel like lately it's been on your mind a lot and you've been debating about what you want to do. And I feel like this is a message that it's like, even if you don't pursue this full time, just go back to it, start having fun and enjoying yourself again and not caring if you're good enough, not caring if this person was right. It's like you don't have to prove that you are the best. You just have to simply be having fun. And I feel like this is about letting go of judgment and fear from others and not letting them hold you back. Because I feel like you and your life, you have a really hard time where if someone will critique you, you take it to heart and then it's like you really put it in your head and you beat yourself up over it. And I feel like you need to forgive and forget. You need to let it go in one ear and out the other. I feel like you hold on too much to what people's opinions are. And it's holding you back because you're not having fun, because you're doing everything to try and present this image of yourself. And you're not being true to yourself and you're not allowing yourself to have fun. You're becoming too serious. And I feel like you have to make a choice with the lover's card reversed. I feel like you have to really put your foot down and decide what path do you want to live your life on. I feel like you can continue on your current path and you can keep being unhappy and keep being miserable or you can make a change and you can start to have more fun and be more free and also related back to music music just automatically makes people happy so if you haven't given yourself a chance to listen to music just start listening to music again and really like feel the music I feel like there's going to be some sort of message or just like something that brings you back to your past that you need to hear that you've forgotten about. I feel like you just need to reconnect with your younger self and just start to have more fun kind of like when you're a kid where you didn't care about what people thought of you. I feel like that's what you need to get back to. I feel like for too long you've let people's opinions weigh you down and you started to live your life to fit their standards and you're not living your life to fit your standards. I feel like you really need to reevaluate things and figure out why you do things. Is it something that actually makes you happy or are you doing this because other people are telling you to do it or because they want you to do it? And I feel like you don't like to disappoint people. And I feel like you really need to evaluate like at what cost are you doing things? I feel like you really need to make sure that you are enjoying what you're doing with your life because otherwise you're wasting your life. And I feel like you need to be open and honest with the people in your life. And know that the people who truly care about you, who truly have your back, are going to support you. With that meerkat card from your spirit guides, it's like people are going to be happy for you because they want you to be happy. And so the people who keep you in this box, who are trying to hold you back and not be happy for you and your growth, then you don't need 
need them in your life. And some people, I feel like they might be harsh at first, but then they're going to come around and they're going to change because they realize this is actually going to make you happy. But the people who never change their minds, the people that are always going to be thinking negatively, you don't need them and you don't need that energy in your life. You really need to make the choice to walk away from them. And some of them, I feel like they could be family members, but they still are toxic for you. And you need to at least create some distance between you and them. But I definitely feel like the way that you get happy again is just by not caring about people and you just reconnect with your old self and don't take things so seriously and I feel like you just need to have more freedom to have fun and allow yourself to make mistakes and to know that it doesn't define you. I feel like you're so serious and you're so rigid and I feel like you really just need to let go of that. Let go of these expectations that you've been holding on yourself and really free yourself from the box you put yourself in and know that you can have multiple different interests and you can have multiple different hobbies and one fun thing doesn't negate any serious thing. Like you can have whatever life you want. You get to create your own life and you don't have to live the life that people want for you. I feel like a lot of people that are trying to keep you in this box it's because of fear and they are trying to tell you what is best for you and it's just that they haven't seen the vision that you have for yourself you just need to show them your vision and you just need to show them where you're going so I hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share with others don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I post other videos like this I post them four times a week and I hope to see you guys in my next video have a good one bye so those of you who chose Tree Agite and the Key Charm, for your cards you have Knight of Emotions, Knight of Materials, Justice, Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think you are, Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Cat, it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others, Penguin, the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. So I'm definitely picking up that whatever issues in darkness you've been going through, it's going to end. Um, I feel like if any of you guys have been dealing with any legal issues, they are going to soon pass and I feel like they're going to turn in your favor. I feel like a lot of you guys, um, whatever you're going through, you have to pay attention to the signs and messages you're getting and be very calculated with them. Don't discredit anything. Even if it feels small, even if it's just like your intuition nudging you in a certain direction, listen to it. I feel like the payoff is going to be really good, but you have to make sure you're balanced. And I feel like your emotions may have been running a bit wild and they might have been a bit overwhelming causing you to have some anxieties and fears over things and I feel like you've been discovering how to allow yourself to be vulnerable and that is going to pay off. Now you're going to find your balance. Things are going to come back into a state of normalcy for you guys. I'm getting the sense with the page of wands that there's going to be some sort of passion project and I feel like this is where you're going to be devoting a lot of your time and your energy to. So whatever this darkness and this period has been, I feel like it's been preparing you for this because it's like you've been in your hibernation stage almost. And I know it might have been very hectic and not felt like a hibernation, but it was like a hibernation for your soul because you were learning how much you can take on that now when that releases, now your life is going to be so much easier and you're going to know exactly what you want it's like you're focused on your goals now and I feel like the way that it's going to be more fun and you're going to start enjoying your time more is that I feel like you've been living under this cloud of darkness and it's kind of been like raining over you and now all of a sudden the sun is coming out and now you have all these ideas of things that you couldn't do when it was raining but now that you're free you can and so I feel like whatever is going on it's going to be lifted and it's going to be dealt with and it's going to turn in your favor so that you are going to have time to explore and to create and to build something and I feel like some of you guys you could be building a business and needing to take a loan and that maybe it's not working out in the way you thought it was going to be but you're going to end up getting some sort of payout in the end where everything is balanced so I feel like if there's been any fears about like is this the time to start it's like wait until you get a message wait until you get a sign and once you receive that message you're going to know it's time and then you can go out and you can get it I also feel like Whatever you guys are thinking about, especially I'm getting a sense that for a lot of you guys this is somewhat like business or career related. I feel like you want to take a risk and go out on your own and do something, but you're afraid that if you go out and you do all this, it's going to fail. And I'm getting the sense that you need to do it because at the end of the day, it's going to make you happier because it's taking you away from something that you currently are not putting your full time and passion into. Your passions are elsewhere and you need to make that your full time so that you can actually have fun and enjoy what you're doing and no not everything is going to be 100% easy and not everything is going to feel like it's fun and enjoyable all the time but it's going to feel better in the long run than if you stay at the current place you are. I feel like this change is needed for your soul for you to feel happy and everything is going to balance out. It's just going to be a matter of time and so it's like you might have to put in hard work but it's going to be okay and it's all going to pay off and that's the big vibe I'm getting for you guys. I feel like you really just need to get in a state where you're balanced. You can focus on what you want and then you can go and get it and you can create 
create it because you have so much good karma on your side it's going to pay off there might be a couple roadblocks in the beginning that teach you lessons but overall it's going to be successful and I feel like your karma in this lifetime is preparing you where you're able to start to enjoy things but you just have to be ready to accept the good because right now I feel like there's some level of feeling like you're undeserving and that holds you back you stand in your own way and I feel like that's what you need to get away from I feel like this is a sign which is saying you're your own worst enemy you need to just go for things quit second guessing and just trust yourself because I feel like your intuition is very strong and you doubt that and I also sense like your intuition has been very wise at picking up when things aren't good for you but you've ignored them and I feel like you need to start listening to that because that's gonna help you prevent some of these roadblocks that are gonna be in your way because I feel like you're very good at knowing what situations are going to unfold and how they're going to happen and I feel like your intuition is gonna be able to create a solution you just need to listen to it and that's your biggest downfall is that you kind of just like stick with what you know and you don't listen to your intuition you kind of get stuck in your own way and it's saying to cut that out and to just allow yourself to do what you want because I feel like your soul knows how to direct you on the right course of action but your mind will reroute it in a different way that's more logical and that's where a lot of your issues stem from and that's where your unhappiness stems from so just start listening to your soul more it knows the direction you need to take and it's going to lead you to the correct path so I hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I post other videos like this I post them four times a week and I hope to see you guys in my next one have a good one bye so those of you who chose the mermaid charm and blue obsidian for your cards you have the wheel reversed the hanged unicorn ace of swords honeybee let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation speak up look forward say no and build on solid ground so I'm getting the sense that you guys who chose this pile with the wheel reverse, that this is some sort of karmic situation for you guys. And you've been dealing with it, and I feel like this is some sort of end to it. Now, this could have been someone that you've already broken up with or who you've cut out of your life, but that your connection to them is still there. That soul tie that's kept you together is still there. Because the vibe I'm getting is that this is a soul contract karmic relationship. And basically what that means is in a past life, you guys made a soul contract, and you were supposed to fulfill it in this life. And I'm getting sense that it's like you've learned your lesson and now you just need to cut that cord and you need to break free because I feel like this person is holding you back and I feel like you know this because you have that ace of swords like you know that this person isn't good for you and you know that they manipulate and that they use you but yet you still go back to them and I feel like with the hanged unicorn it's like you're seeing things in a new perspective but yet you haven't been able to make change and I feel like you're really frustrated with yourself because of that honeybee card I feel like the way that you can start to enjoy your life again and that you can be happy is you need to forgive yourself because I feel like a lot of you guys this could even be someone where this ended a long time ago but you have not forgiven yourself for your past mistakes you are still letting it hold you back and I feel like what you really need to do is you need to communicate things to yourself or to this person like you need to speak up so that you can end things so that you can move on a lot of you guys maybe you didn't get closure I feel like you need to give yourself some sort of closure whether this is reaching out to the person or doing something on your own that you actually just forgive yourself for but you also need to focus on looking forward you can't go back to this person anymore. I feel like this person, you know it's not going to lead to anything. It's not going to lead to any happiness for you. Your future is a lot brighter without them, so you have to say no to them. I feel like some of you guys, they could be trying to come back into your life or trying to have some sort of contact and connection with you, and you can't do that anymore. I feel like you guys are moving on and that there's going to be a new person coming into your life if they haven't already, but you're building on solid ground. You're building and you're doing just great without this person. You don't need them in your life and having them come in and ruin everything again for you because I feel like this person likes to kind of bowdles over everything and you know that this time it's not it and you're not repeating the same cycle I feel like the way that you reach your happiness and that you bring joy back into your life is standing up for yourself speaking up and telling them that you're done with it and that you're not gonna let them have this hold on you anymore you're gonna start healing yourself and you're breaking the soul contract it's ended it's done its purpose you've learned your lesson you're having forgiveness for yourself because you were naive and you kept going back with them and now you're forgiving yourself and you're moving on and you're looking for forward into the new better things and it's like you're having this new relevation within yourself that you don't need this person to be happy you can be happy within yourself and you're learning all about that you're learning about yourself and discovering what actually makes you happy and you're not living in the shadow of who you were when you were with this person so I feel like it's just about freeing yourself from this person and this connection so I hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share with others don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this I post four videos like these a week and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Have a good one. Bye. 
So those of you who chose green calcite and the palm tree charm, for your cards you have two of materials, the wheel, wake up call, face your shadow, platypus, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life, shark, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation, boar, Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. So I'm getting the sense that those of you who chose this pile, that there is something that is ending that's been negative for you and it's leading to positivity. You're allowing more positivity into your life. So I feel like the things that you need to do to bring bring in more fun and enjoyment, they're already happening to you. They're already on its way. Your biggest thing is your mind. You are not seeing the good things in front of you. And I feel like this is why you have felt down in the dumps and like things aren't going your way because your shadow side likes to tell you that you are not happy, likes to tell you that things are not going good, likes to focus on the negative things of life. And I feel like you need to face this about yourself. And you need to realize that there's two aspects that we can look at life in. We can see it as a glass half full or the glass half empty. There's never going to be a perfect situation. Everything's not always going to be on your side of things. There's always going to be negative things that we can focus in on. But you need to see what's actually weighing on you more. Do you actually have like your whole life full of negativity or is it just small little things that are irritating you that you're focusing on? Because I feel like your life is changing and it's showing you to have fun and to enjoy things but you are so focused on what you can nitpick because you are so used to things being against you. And I feel like you really need to stop complaining about things, appreciate what you have and then you're going to feel like you're enjoying things and you're having more fun because you're not going to be looking for the failure of things. You're going to actually be able to discern what is actually good and what is actually bad and know that the good is outweighing the bad now. And I feel like you just need to face your situations and know that you have solutions. Even if you have a negative situation surrounding you, you have the answers you need to overcome it. And you are capable to adapt and to change and to find balance between things because you have that two of materials where you're all about balance. You can have it both ways. You are just in your head too much. You need to free ground, find your center, find your balance, and that's going to make you happy because now you're going to realize that these challenges that you had around you are not real. They're all in your head, and whatever challenges that are real that you are facing, you are going to be able to overcome them. You have the power that you need. You just have to wake up to that. And once you wake up to it, you're going to realize that things are positive because you're able to overcome the difficulties. I really feel like this is just a mindset shift for you guys. I feel like you need to heal your shadow side because that's where this negative activity stems from and so once you face your shadow realize hey this is how I react to things this is why I see things as the cup is half empty because of all these things that have happened in my life that I haven't healed from and really go back and find the root cause of everything so that you can work on healing it so that you can start to see things in a more positive light where you're not letting the past hold you back and you're not letting your fear of expectations make you expect the least from anything it's like now you can actually enjoy yourself and not feel so cynical about things. I really feel like it's just going to be a mind shift for you guys and then you're going to realize just how abundant your life truly is. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this. I post four videos like this a week and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Have a good one. Bye. So those of you who chose the music note and moon aura chords, for your card you have Queen of Wands reversed, Road Runner, keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously accept what is dying and change tracks so I feel like for you guys to start enjoying your life more to have more fun and to just be happy is that you guys have a lot of self-confidence issues or someone has been preventing you from being as happy and excited and as passionate as you would like I feel like someone's holding you back um, and this if it's not a person it's a situation but there's something that you know is no longer good for you it's been draining your energy it's like an energy vampire and it's making you be become a shell of who you once were and I feel like you need to accept that it's dying and that you need to change tracks. I feel like there's something that you're doing that isn't good for you. You need to acknowledge it's not good for you because on some level you already know because you need to accept it. Whatever doesn't feel right in your life, whatever makes you feel like you can't be your true self, like you're not able to communicate your authentic self, that is what you know is not a good place for you. And I feel like with Roadrunner that this is saying that you need to be able to laugh at things and know that it's okay to change tracks and that there's no shame in it. And I feel like you might be someone where maybe you're afraid that people are going to say that you're flighty or that you don't stick 
sensitive to things or that you're a disappointment because you're changing your mind. But you need to know that it's okay to change your mind. It means you're growing and you're evolving and you're knowing that something that you once thought was good for you is no longer good for you. It just simply means it's run its course. And I feel like you just need to accept that everything has a time and a place in your life and that this situation is done and that there's new better things on its way towards you. And I feel like once you free yourself from this and you start to accept it, you're going to feel happier because you're not going to feel tied down. I feel like right now you feel like you're trapped and like you can't get out because you have to stay here because you like promised yourself that you were going to stick it out or you promised someone else or you feel like it's a good fit and you don't want people to judge you. And I feel like this is saying like you already know that you that it's time to leave and that it's time to walk away from the situation. Now you just have to actually do it. And I feel like that's going to make you feel so much freer because instead of just being like, oh, I wish that I could change things, it's going to be I'm actually changing things. I'm taking control back of my life. And I feel like you guys are people where you're very confident, you're very self-assured, and it's like lately you haven't been, and I feel like it's because of this situation. I feel like typically you guys are like the goal-getters and the hype men for all your friends and your family members, and it's like this has been draining so much of you that people don't even recognize who you are, and I feel like this has been going on for way too long, where it's like you don't even know who you once were. And so I really feel like you need to make this change, get back to who you are, and just start having fun again, because I really feel like this is going to open up a new door doorway of unlimited possibilities for you guys and you just have to grab on and take it and know that it's like this is going to be okay just trust yourself and I also feel like some of you guys it's like you know this is dying and you're gonna get a new opportunity coming towards you and you just need to say yes to it and it's like that's gonna be all the work you really have to do is just be ready to say yes and then things are going to change and so I really feel like you guys just need to take control of your life and actually be like you know this is what I want to do and this is what I'm putting my energy towards and you can't tell me no anymore and so it's just about getting what you want and not taking no for an answer so i hope this resonates for you guys if it did let me know in the comments down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and share with others don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when i post other videos like this i post these types of videos four times a week and i hope to see you at my next one have a good one bye so those of you who chose amethyst and then the owl on the moon charm for your cards you have ten of emotions eight of voices reversed the hanged amused seven of emotions five of materials Ten of Pentacles reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands reversed, Change Tracks, Speak Up, Do What You Love, Hawaiian Owl, your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Gorilla, take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. Camel, trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. Emu, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. So I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, that you guys are having issues with your home life or with your financial security, or there's issues that are going on with your security. And right now, it's a time to be open-minded with that Two of Pentacles reversed, where if you want to be happier, if you want to enjoy things more, you have to be open to all suggestions. You can't be so narrow-minded that you're missing the other opportunities that are coming towards you. Because with that Six of Wands reversed, it's saying that you're going to have success, but it's not going to be your traditional definition of success. There's going to be a new course of action in your life that's going to make you happier because with that ten of emotions, it's going to make you emotionally fulfilled, but it's going to be something you haven't seen before with that eight of voices reversed. It's going to kind of free you in a sense where you're going to end up finding success through something that you didn't think was attainable, but it's also something that you wouldn't have thought would be all that you needed. I feel like you're letting go of a lot of things that you wanted and that's why you have that five of materials because it's like you're saying goodbye to the things that you thought you wanted, that you have had been working for and now you're actually focusing on your home life on what actually matters and you're making the choice that even though this is different it's what you want and you're speaking up for yourself and you're changing tracks and you're not letting people take advantage of you anymore because you're following what you love and you're listening to your heart now I feel like before it was so much of your head controlling what you're doing and now you're gonna start listening to your heart and I feel like you're really gonna be able to stand up for what you want and to get what you want and not face any adversary if you have any people that are like oh you don't really want that or that's not enough for you you're gonna be able to shut them up and show them that you are happy that you are successful it's just a different definition of what they're used to I feel like you're really changing the status quo and I feel like this I feel like some of you guys could be going on a spiritual path and that's why your spirit guides are really pushing you towards this where it's like you're giving up the things that you thought were going to make you happy and you're following more of your inner peace and your happiness and it's gonna feel a little bit less secure than what people are used to but it's gonna make you more successful because you're going to have so much love and happiness and to your life. 
and I feel like you're finally taking time to listen to yourself and it's like whatever this journey that you're going on it's not going to necessarily be easy for you but it's leading you where you need to go and the journey is teaching you what you need and I feel like you've had so much happen to you in the past that nothing else can phase you anymore you become prepared you're strong and you know that you're able to overcome anything and it's like this is going to be a good adventure for you and it's like it might be scary it might be uncomfortable but these changes are making you grow and they're making you evolve and it's going to make you so much happier in the long run so whatever difficulty you're going through it's like you're going to face some challenges but you're going to win you're going to win in a way that's true for yourself it might not seem like you want to other people but at the end of the day you're going to be happy and that's what matters and so I feel like your heart's really pushing you on this new journey to start this new chapter of your life and to leave the negativity behind and it's like you're leaving behind things that aren't good for you things that are causing conflicts in your lives and you're becoming open-minded and you're finding a new perspective and a new belief system and you're really standing up for yourself and you're not letting people control you anymore you're taking back the power in your life and you're changing your life and going on a new adventure that's going to make you happier and change your definition of what is happiness for you and it's going to be so much better for you in the long run and so I feel like you're really going to have a positive change and good energy surrounding you. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you see when I upload other videos like this. I post these type of videos four times a week and I hope to see you in my next one. Have a good one, bye.